and we're back with another video. Still in Great League. Um, today we're going to be going for something pretty different. We're going to uh, go with Vigoroth. Um, usual moveset for Vigoroth though, counter, body slam, bulldoze. And we're going to be backing him up with Deoxys Defense. Um, mythical Pokemon, uh, hopefully you guys have got one, he's pretty damn good. Um, now he's going to be running Counter, Psycho Boost and Thunderbolt. So obviously the Psycho Boost debuffs him if he uses it, but it's a good strong move. And in the back we're going to be running Obstagoon. Uh, Obstagoon is going to be running uh, Counter, Night Slash and Gunk Shot. And before you say anything, yes that's right, three Counter users. So let's see how it goes. Alright, into the first game here. Um, Bastiod on lead. So, well, we've got three Pokemon that can deal with him. Um, but you see Bastiod on and you normally associate it with one thing. And that's right, it looks like it's a grass old team. So, we're going to stay in with Deoxys just for a bit here and get these Psycho Boosts off. We don't really have to worry about the Bastiod on. We've just got to make sure we get rid of the two grass. Unfortunately, we see MP there. Uh, that's a Sam tune, But we'll defend it just for now. We want to keep the Deoxys uh, healthy. So, we'll throw the second Psycho Boost here. And then we're going to switch out and we're going into Obstagoon. He can then uh, counter down. Um, he's a little bit bulkier than uh, Vigoroth, so that's why I went in with him. Uh, he'll get the Night Slash away here. And we're looking pretty good. Um, Superior is a little bit uh, of a different option in the Grass Hole teams. Uh, it's got that debuffing potential. Um, attacks incoming here but we're looking uh, in pretty good shape obviously we've got two pokemon that can deal with the bastiard on so we don't need to worry too much about keeping um keeping the obstagoon alive but we'll get this night slash away um just before he goes down um and then probably thinking look you know maybe they can uh, get rid of the bass uh, get rid of the deoxys but the vigoroth comes in and they're prolonging the inevitable now we can just shield here and counter all the way down um and that'll leave us with back-to-back -back body slams to finish off the grass in the back. So, um, yeah, well, one thing we can say is this definitely uh, doesn't have a problem dealing with tanks. And, uh, yeah, our first uh, grass hole type team um, dealt with that well and it was a success. So, a bit of uh, move lag there, but we finally get that away. And, uh, yeah, so game one is a win. Let's get into game two. Okay, uh, Skarm on the lead here. Uh, Deoxys is uh, pretty good for dealing with that. Um, counter is uh, obviously neutral because of the steel flying typing, but Thunderbolt's going to hit pretty hard. So they get the Sky Attack away here. Um, just want to point out this was before um, the um, Sky Attack was debuffed, so that's taking off more damage than it probably would right now. Uh, Thunderbolt goes through, which is perfect for us. What that means is if they don't shield that, we can actually shield once and counter all the way down. Um, and we'll do that because that'll leave us with switch and with loads of energy on the Deoxys um, Which is important Okay, so they come in with a grass type here. Uh, we can get uh, these psycho boosts away Get rid of one get rid of two now the principle with this team is obviously these psycho boosts debuff So we'll have to um, sub out here and we'll go into Vigoroth now, the key is we do need to keep Deoxys alive in these matches. He's the only um, Pokemon we've got here who doesn't take super effective damage to counter. So the idea is you bring in your Vigoroth and uh, you basically put him out there and see what the opposition do. Now, in this case, we're just going body slam spam and getting it down. Um, they didn't switch out into a fighting type or something that could counter the Vigoroth. So it's probably safe to assume they don't have a fighting type Pokemon in this team. Uh, and in the back is a shift tree, so they're um, unfortunately here they're uh, in for a bit of a shock. Um, Obstagoon in the back is a pretty solid uh, answer um, for shift tree. So we'll bring the Deoxys now just to absorb um, this Leaf Blade energy, um, and then Obstagoon in the back with a shield uh, will counter this thing all the way down. We don't even need to um, throw a move here. Um, doesn't matter if this is. Um, any type of move, but obviously the uh, foul plays will be resisted. And now we counter down and we keep the shield. So two solid wins. Um, the team's working okay so far. All right, no, another former rank 10 here. Uh, not a great lead here, but we're gonna stick with the plan. And the plan is that we swap out into, um, into our safe swap here and try and draw out any fighters they might have. 
Uh, at the moment, they're choosing to stay in, so that's really good for us. Um, so we'll throw the bulldoze here. Um, this would be super effective if they let it through, uh, and it gets through, so that's terrific. So um, Vigoroth's done its job here. It's got the um, Marowak really low. Um, that This will allow us to um, get this body slam away, might even draw a shield, um, and then we can obviously uh, come back in with Obstagoon after this, and uh, we don't have to fear any of the moves that it throws. So um, I'm assuming we're gonna be doing that. No, we're coming back in with Deoxys. Probably not the best move there. We could have come in with the Obstagoon, but perhaps we were mindful of not revealing what we've got in the back just yet. Um, it's it's important if you can to um, keep your team secret from the um, opposition players for as long as possible, um, just so, um, you know, they can't make accurate plans. But anyway, we've thrown the Psycho Boost and now we go in um, to the Obstagoon and unfortunately counter is, triple counter is going to help again here, this Ferrothorn. Um, running a pretty common line these guys but um, the counter damage is just going to be too much here. They get the power whip away. We're going to be able to throw this Night Slash, see if they shield here. They don't, so we'll be able to counter down before they get to another move. And unfortunately, uh, this shift tree is just not gonna um, not gonna be able to survive long enough to to get to the moves it needs. Um, this will go. This will get the last shield, and then we can just swap into Deoxys here to absorb the move. It'll be a leaf blade. Um, they wouldn't be throwing foul plays, so we've caught the move nicely there. We can uh, now throw um, this psycho boost, and that should just about KO. Um, not quite, but the counters will now. So another good game. And yeah, most teams have at least one Pokemon that's quite susceptible to counter. So we're going quite well with it so far. All right, into the next game. This isn't an amazing lead here. Um, all, all our moves are um, resisted, um, except the, well, the Psycho Boost, not resisted, but all the charge moves from Deoxys are generally resisted if you're running Rock Slide. So it's lucky we've got Psycho Boost here. They won't shield this. We can go again here. Um, and this will get the Stun Fist pretty low, um, at which point we've got to stick with our plan, which is to swap out a Deoxys and keep it alive in case they've got a Fighting type. And they've gone into Skarmory here. So look, Skarmory, it is a flying type. Um, and it does uh, resist the body slams, but um, counters neutral and Vigoroth is so spammy here um, that we can, uh, if we actually shield the first sky attack, we can actually, um, we can actually uh, body slam and then counter this down and have a body slam ready to go for the next mon. So we'll do that. Um, I don't think they're gonna wanna keep this counter user alive, so they're probably going to shield this, so we're going to get a shield out of this, and we get to them, and that's perfect, because we get to them is so much faster than they do. So we can even shield here and just counter down, and we probably might well do that. No, when we're deciding not to, and that's also fair enough, because now we can come in with Deoxys and counter down, so um, we're in pretty good shape here, and we can even then look to go for another Psycho Boost. They're throwing their move here. Um, doesn't matter what it is, it's not going to KO. They're throwing their second move here. Um, we're going to let this go as well. Um, we're going to be able to get to a Psycho Boost. And they've got an Obstagoon in the back. So uh, this is pretty good for us. What we can do here is throw the Psycho Boost. And basically it's just a little bit of chip head start. Um, we've got our own Obstagoon. So all we're going to do here is shield. Um, they're throwing the Night Slash. We're going to now throw the Night Slash, which they'll have to shield. And uh, that'll be the end of the game anyway, because we'll be able to counter down after this. Um, didn't get the boost, that's a pity, but we can count it down, and they've quit. They knew that they weren't going to win that one, so, um, yeah, stringing a few wins together here. Um, okay, Swamp It, not a great lead. It's, uh, it's just outpaces Deoxys by too much, so we just stick to the plan, and we bring in, um, Vigoroth, and once again, um, they're replying with Skarmory, which... You know, it, as we've discussed, it's a flying type, so theoretically it should be good against a fighter, but Vigoroth's not a normal fighter. Yes, it does have counter, but it's not really a fighting type, so it can really spam away, and as we saw in the last game here, if we're willing to commit a shield, um, we either get a shield back, um, or we can uh, body slam them here and counter down before they can get to the next sky attack, so we'll see what they decide to do. They shield which is terrific for us, just because they're at the move. 
and uh, it leaves the scarm pretty low. So it's it was too tempting. So just count it down from here, and this will leave us with plenty of energy. And those um, normal type body slams hit both things pretty pretty hard. So it looks like they brought in a psychic type. Was it Hypno? Yeah, it was Hypno, Shadow Hypno. So now we've gone back into Deoxys and they've gone back into Swampert. So um, maybe not the best of moves, but we'll just see how it turns out. Obviously we've got Obstagoon in the back. So Obstagoon, uh, unless the Hypno is running Focus Blast, should be pretty good. So we'll just see what happens. We get the Psycho Boost away there. They're gonna throw here. Um, should be able to then come back in and get some energy. They don't quite KO, so we can get the Psycho Boost away here. Um, this should just about uh, KO the Swampert. It does. In comes the Hypno. Now, Shields are down for us, um, but they don't have a great deal of energy, so we're just going to go ahead and throw the Night Slash here. Now, this matchup pretty much all comes down to whether or not they have Focus Blast. Some Hypnos do run it these days. Generally not Shadow Hypnos, though, so... We'll go back in. We didn't quite get to the body slam, um, which is a shame. So, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, they're running focus blast here, and they're not. So um, we'll be able to get to the night slash, and they know it, and so they're done and dusted there. So if you're wondering whether a hypno will have uh, focus blast, shadow hypnos generally don't. Normal ones might, but they're normally carrying shadow ball. Anyway, uh, stunfist uh, is in the lead here, so we already know we've got three mon that can uh, deal pretty well with it. The reason we swapped out is, as we've discussed, got to draw out any potential fighters. But the other thing too is Deoxys's fast move does um, good damage against Stunfisk, but its charge moves don't. So what we did there was we um, hit it with some counters, but once we got to a move, there was no point in throwing that move. Better off saving it for later and using it on a Mon where it might actually do some damage. So we've come into Vigoroth, and as we saw in previous games, the Skarm Vigoroth uh, matchup is actually not too bad. So. Definitely uh, happy that that was the swap, uh, swap, and it probably suggests they don't have a counter user, or if they do, uh, it's gonna be something like Obstagoon, and they didn't wanna bring it in against uh, a Vigoroth, because uh, counter would be super effective against it. Anyway, like all our other matches, we're able to um, counter down there. Uh, Psyche type, looks like it's Hypno again. Okay, so this time it's a regular Hypno, so. Um, similar situation to last time, we're shields down, so we're taking a bit of a risk here, but we're spamming these, um, spamming these moves. Now we come in with the Obstagoon, and we're throwing the Night Slash here. This will get the last shield. And yeah, again, it's coming down to whether or not they've got Focus Blast. As we discussed, more likely a normal type, rather than Shadow, have Focus Blast, and they've got Focus Blast. So... Bit of a meme there, we got blasted. Now they're bringing their stun fist back in, which is a great move. As we discussed a little bit earlier, um, Deoxys, uh, its charge moves do nothing um, to stun fist. Um, Psycho Boost is actually the best of them because it um, uh, does about the same damage. Unfortunately, they've got to a move here. This probably won't KO us, um, but we've got to throw the Psycho Boost. Oh, we've actually swapped into Vigoroth. That was to debuff ourselves. Now we come back in and throw the Psycho Boost. Probably had to counter down to win the game there um, because what's going to happen is we'll get to a Psycho Boost, but we're already debuffed um, and it's um, ineffective against Hypno anyway. So if we'd come back in and managed to counter down the, uh, the Stun Fisk, um, we would have done better. Now, as far as the team goes, as we saw, triple counter does work well. Most uh, teams have a Mon weak to counter, and counter's probably the best fast move in the game. So not a bad team. It might be worth a go. It's pretty simple to use. Thanks for watching.